You know, Sam, that's always why we just bring you in to explain these things They've to been us. working on that system for a while, and I'm glad. There is just a lot of confusion of, like, what's a flood advisory? What's a flood warning? What's a flood watch? So they're trying to make it easier to get all that across, and that's why we're here, too. Let me step out of the way real quick so you guys can get a look. If you're still trying to figure out where do I want to go for fall colors this weekend, if you got some leaf peeping trips, the two top areas, the I-70 corridor north, are going to be a lot more into their peak for this this weekend, if you wanted to go somewhere like Crested Butte, you could find some Aspen Gold, Kepler Pass, Ohio Pass. However, it's not at the peak yet, so we would need a little bit longer to get there. This is a cool photo, very spooky going into the start of fall here. Christina sent us this, a bald eagle in the trees, just looking for some dinner maybe with that moon in the background. Speaking of the moon, that big full harvest moon looking great from Larry with that little orange tint. Larry was also in Guard of the Gods and got this beautiful daytime photo of the rocks and some cumulus clouds out in the distance. And then Bruce was taking a walk over that new pedestrian bridge near the Olympic Museum and it was really pretty stuff. So thank you everybody who's been sharing photos the last few days. Let's look ahead and see what's going on. So today is a warmer and breezy day. We're getting in some Virga late in the day. We're going to see a cooler and breezy Friday and then I think we're headed off to kind of a warm if not close to hot weekend. So when we look around the region, I've got temperatures in the 50s and 40s to start the day off. It's about 40 degrees towards Woodland Park. Air Force Academy is the coolest spot locally here in the Pikes Peak region, but Pueblo, we're actually pretty chilly in Pueblo at 45, and we've got some lower 40s noted a little bit more east from Lamar up north to Kit Carson. Now, if you want to walk the dog, get outside today. It should be a nice day, but it is going to be hot, especially from Pueblo and east out to La Hunta Lamar. Lower 80s for our highs in the springs, but Pueblo East will do a better job of getting into those mid 80s. When we look at your extended forecast, Colorado Springs Oktoberfest starts tomorrow. We're going to stay pretty warm over the weekend, specifically on Sunday, and then we'll get a series of cool fronts next week and maybe some thunderstorms on Wednesday. That Wednesday chance of rain is not particularly strong, but it is one of those things we're watching. Pueblo, we've got a chili festival day starting tomorrow. It goes through the weekend. It should be kind of a hot weekend, but that's all right. Canyon City, we've got chances of rain next Wednesday with warmer air in between. The Harvest Festival starts on Saturday. In Woodland Park, we're in the 70s with a couple rain chances on Tuesday, Wednesday.